my name is Felicia Gunawan. I'm from grade 12 science and in this video I will be showing a process of me making an 8 octant to show three-dimensional geometry. Let's begin with collecting all of the materials that we will need to make this octant model. So first, please prepare your cardboard and this cardboard should be as thick as possible but not too thick that you cannot cut through it. So make sure that the cardboard is thick enough to not fold but thin enough to be cut with a pair of scissors. Next, you will need some decoration tapes and then you will need a pair of scissors. Yes, you only need one pair of scissors but today I'll be using two because coincidentally my decoration tapes are sticky so I don't want my scissors to spoil my cardboard and then next we will need one ruler so i'm using a 30 centimeter ruler for now but in reality you guys can use any length the longer the better and also i'll be using a pencil to trace my first line and i will use a thick marker to trace my permanent line so it will it will become visible and lastly use a thinner marker so that you can label the axis Let's begin! Now what you want to do is to take out your cardboard and prepare your ruler and your pencil. Now we will measure about 30 centimeters from here and also another 30 centimeters of length. We want to cut out a square cardboard from this rectangular cardboard with a measurement of 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters. So let's do it. Now, um, do the same for this part. Do the same for this side. Make sure that it's 30 centimeters. We want to cut out three, three square cardboards of the same um, dimension. So now we have two and we want to do for one more. Don't forget to leave a one centimeter gap. Now we have three square cardboards and you can use your pair of scissors to cut it out. So after cutting it out, we finally have our first square cardboard and we want to do the same for the other two. So now we already have three of our square cardboards and we will take our decorative tapes right now. This is completely optional, but I'll do this for aesthetic purposes so that our octant won't look too plain. Do the same for all sides and use the same method to do the other cardboard with a different color Now we have a total of three cards. After putting decoration tapes on your cardboard, now what you want to do is to measure the length, the sides of the cardboard, and then divide it by two. So what we're trying to do is find the midpoint for each of the four sides. So let's do it. Over here I've done one example. So this is what you're supposed to do. You have to draw the x-axis and the y-axis. And this is done by dividing this side by 2. In this case, I'm, I was using 30 centimeters. So when I half the value, I get 15 centimeters. So from this part to this part, I drew a straight line. And I did the same for the vertical axis. So here's my x-axis and the y-axis. And after I'm sure that they make a straight line, I can finally draw this using my thick marker. 
make sure you do this after you make sure that the pencil lines that you have drawn are actually straight and they make equal squares so within one square cardboard there should be four equal squares that way you can now trace it with your thicker marker After you have drawn the X and Y axis for all three cardboards, you have to give the scales. You have to draw the scales along the axis according to scale. So this will be one centimeter. One centimeter on your ruler will represent one unit. And after you have measured them using a ruler, label it with numbers with a marker. After you have labeled your axis, what you want to do right now is to grab your scissors and cut the first cardboard halfway through the axis, through only one of the axis. Like this. And do the same with the second cardboard. Now the last cardboard will be slightly different. So what you want to do is to cut the cardboard all the way, all the way through one of the axes. After doing this, grab the first half and cut only halfway through the axis. only halfway and do the same with the second half so now you have this you have this piece two halves and two cardboards that are only cut halfway through the axis I know I haven't labeled the cardboards for now but this is what it's supposed to look like, okay? After you have already cut all of your cardboards as shown before, you can first grab two of the cardboards that have the same cutting pattern. So, you can join them together. I figured out that it's going to be easier if you place them horizontally, flatly to one another. Make sure they meet in the middle. Make sure the axes align. And lastly, bring them up together. So they should be perpendicular to one another, just like this. After that, choose either the pink or the blue cardboard. I'm going to choose the blue cardboard. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the axis over here halfway. And do the same for the other side. After you have done it, it should look something like this. put them together If the 3D octane that you have made looks like this so congratulations look you have successfully like made one 3D octane Let's if you think that the shape the is a bit asymmetrical, then you can always paste the side of the cardboard with a glue so that it sticks to the other cardboard and it will form a straight line.
Let's take this box of stables as an example. As you can see, on the horizontal axis or the x-axis, it has a scale value of 5. While on the y-axis or the vertical axis, it has a scale value of 3. On the z-axis or the standing axis, it has the value of 1. Hence, the 3D coordinate of the stable box is 5, 3, 1.